So today I'm going to do a demo of the 2D to 3D exchange between uh, Zucchini 3 Series and NX. Um, so I have a demo cable here that has a couple of Molex MicroFit connectors, a 16, 4, 6, and a 2 position connector. Um, and so what we're looking at right now is uh, the Zucan E3 series um, program, which is what we use for 2D drawings for wiring. So I've already wired, kind of drawn this up and wired it between the connectors. So you can see we have just all black between two of the connectors, the 16 and these guys, and then we have one green wire. So I'm going to go into add-ons, E3, bridge to MCAD, export to or from MCAD. So we're going to export our, our 2D CAD, our ECAD, to our 3D mechanical CAD. And I've put all these wires into a, what's called a cable. So it's an assembly of wires. Obviously, that's what a cable is, but in Zucan, it's, it's an assembly of, um, of individual wires. So, and that's called W1, so I'm selecting that. I'm going to export it. Uh, export. Now, you've noticed I've already done this once, so we're going to overwrite these files, which is the demo 2D PLM XML file. It's going to ask us if we want to overwrite it. Yes, we do. Do that down here. Export finish. Let's see that down here. So I'm going to open up NX, where in NX I have some splines routed. I've got my connectors with ports. Um, they're all qualified, which is when you put ports on the connectors. Um, and we don't have anything in our connection or our component navigator. Uh, normally, in the component navigator, if you have two identical parts, um, if they have the same part number but they're not the same reference designator, you would go in to the component navigator and you would create the components and you would name them after that reference designator. So like J1, J2, P1, P2, P3, P4, etc. And say if you had four identical connectors because otherwise the, the 2D to 3D won't be able to identify what connector it is just by the connector part number. But in this case, they're all unique. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do import update. I'm going to import our 2D PLM XML file. You're going to see that it created all those connectors. So now we're going to do auto assign because they're all unique connectors. So the green check mark means it's now associates each one of these connectors with its connector ID or reference designator. You'll also see that it created all these different wires. So what we can do is do auto route component level and boom. So remember how most of the wires are black but there was one green wire on a single wire that goes to this connector. So it actually will color individual wires um, by whatever they're colored in Zucan. And then uh, it also calculates this bundle diameter by whatever the, the physical properties are of the wires in E3 series, Zucan E3 series. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this, uh, this kind of 3D file and we're going to put it back into 2D. So I'm going to do export all. Again, this is, I've done this before, so I'm overwriting a file. We're going to export it to the 3D file. Selected route list file already exists. Do we want to overwrite this file? Yes, we do. You can see the progress down here. Now we're going to go back into E3 series. And there's a, an, an additional tool that we use. We don't just do the bridge to MCAD. We actually flatten the harness first because I'm not entirely sure why, but we flatten the harness first using harness flattening. Um, so we're going to do open. We're going to open that 3D file here. Now it's got P1, J2, J3, J1. Those are all the, the connectors. And then these little ID numbers are um, the NX generated ID numbers for the nodes. So for like the branch out points on the, uh, on the, the wire harness. 
Um, so we're going to the backbone is what you want to be the, the largest flat section. So we could do auto and then calculate the backbone. So it's going to flatten along this P1 to J2. So we're going to end up with like P1 on the left and J2 on the right. So we'll do that calculates the backbone and the run actually does the flattening. So P1, J2. So it flattens that harness in these sections. Now we're going to save this, which it's going to save as just a regular XML file. Again, I'm overwriting what I've already done before. All right, save. And now we go back into our bridge to MCAD add-on. And we're going to use the import module. It's already open, so it's flashing down here. So I'm going to go to import, harness import. We're going to choose that file. It's going to switch the name because it, it has to do a, a little um, application that runs to, to take care of some discrepancies based on naming. Um, we want the format to be our charge point format, so we'll do charge point. Probably size D is big enough. And we're going to name it that. So now we should be able to import it. It's going to create a new sheet, form board sheet. And it's going to place this harness on there. So we can move this. Right, so we have a little little error here with the this guy. But other than that, it's pretty good. Let's see the monitoring. That this might, it may not have a proper form board symbol, which might be why it didn't drop on it. But what you can do yeah, is now we can go and we can place the table symbols for each of these parts. Place table symbol. And if we want it to be one to one, so we highlight all this, right click, we're going to do adjust segment length. Now these segments are a one-to-one -one, um, length. So if you were to print this out uh, without scaling it, it would be a one-to-one, -one, so you could actually use it directly as a form board. And then if we go in here and we, we dimension one of these, we can see so it's 106.66. That seems a little odd. Why is it 106.66? Well, let's go back into Max. And we'll do analysis measure. And that was from the 16 position connector. So we're going to choose point on a grounding control point. We're going to choose grounding control point. We're going to do points on curve length. Look at that. It was 6.66. So I mean, somewhat obviously, the lengths from the 3D transfer over into the 2D. Now, of course, you can. You can adjust them, like if you want to add a little bit of extra length for just for margin of error um, for like an initial prototype. But what this means is that rather than having to go into 3D and measure each individual segment length and then hand transcribe it over into this, into this 2D file that we use to, to actually produce the harness of drawings, it's all automated. And it takes about I mean, a matter of minutes instead of what usually could take hours or even days for a more complicated harness. So that is the base, uh, the basic um, workflow between uh, Zook in 2D and NX3D.